Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. Last video, I have completed seven problems on computing the tax liability of an individual. Hope my regular viewers have already watched that video. Got a command how to compute the tax liability. Now I am continuing the problem number eight, nine, and ten. Three problems I am going to explain you in this video. So again, I repeat, if you join now, you may not be able to understand. So please go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax for the assessment year 21-22. Watch the first three videos on theory regarding the introduction to income tax. Everything I've explained there without understanding the theory, you cannot come to the problem. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout, keep it ready, take a screenshot of the three solutions of the problems 8, 9 and 10. Then I'll explain all the points. Come, see the eighth one. <clears throat> During the previous year, relevant to the current assessment year, our current assessment year is 21 22. So, previous year is 2020 21. So, in a college annual day function, as a student of your college, you have received the following calculate tax liability for each of the receipt and comment upon the same on the assumption that your income from other head is 4,50,000. So, you are a student, your income under other heads are 4,50,000, we have to assume. Then what is the tax liability under the four given situations? The four given situations, one, two, three, four are given. Each situation, you have to compute what would be the tax liability. The first situation is best student cash price, one lakh. You are having income under other heads, 4,50,000. And you also received from the college, Best uh, student cash price 1 lakh. So what is the provision under the Income Tax Act regarding best student cash price? Income Tax Act says a student receiving the best student cash price is taxable under income from other sources. It is taxable. So already he is having 4,50,000 and this 1 lakh rupees will also be taxable. So total income will be 4,50,000 plus 1 lakh, 5,50,000. So tax will be calculated on 5,50,000. See, best student cash price. Cash price received is taxable under the income from other sources. Then income under other heads 4,50,000, cash price 1 lakh, total 5,50,000. Now first time we are computing the tax on slab system. Previous video, we have computed the tax liability only on flat rate. Here we are applying slab system. So here non-senior, if nothing is given, we assume that C is a non-senior citizen below 60 years of age. That is our assumption if nothing is given in the problem. So here slab income rate tax. The first slab is up to 2,50,000. Income is 2,50,000 but the rate of tax is nil, income tax is nil. So up to 2,50,000, income 2,50,000, rate nil, tax nil. First slab over. Second slab goes from 2,50,001 to 5 lakh. So 2,50,001 to 5 lakh. The income is 2,50,000. From 2,50,000, 1 rupee it is starting up to 5 lakh rupees. It is 2,50,000. The rate of tax is 5%. Already I have explained all these things in the previous video. So that's why I'm stressing that every student must go through, must watch that four, four theory videos. So 5% of 2,50,000, 12,500. Now balance. Total income is 5,50,000. Out of 5,50,000, first two slabs. First slab 2,50,000. Second slab 2,50,000, so 250 plus 250, 5,00,000, 5,00,000 lakh. 5 lakh over, so out of 5,50,000, 5 lakh, 50, 5 lakh over, so remaining 50,000 is the balance. Actually third slab will go from 5,00,000, 1 rupee to 10,00,000 rupees, 
But is our income going up to 10 lakh rupees? No. Our income is not going up to 10 lakh rupees. Our income is only 5 lakh 50 thousand. That's why we are taking the balance. So 5 lakh 50 minus 5 lakh 50 thousand is the balance. 20 percent is the rate of tax. So 10,000. 20 percent of 50 thousand, 10,000. So total tax is 22,500. So tax on total income 22,500. No tax rebate because the total income is above 5 lakh. The total income is more than 5 lakh, no tax rebate. Directly health and education says 4%. Tax liability 23,4%. First point completed. So remember the slabs. For non-senior citizen, the first slab up to 2,50,000 income, nil. Second slab, 2,50,000, to 5 lakh rupees, 5%. Third slab, 5 lakh, 1 to 10 lakh, 20%. Fourth slab over 10 lakh rupees 30 percent. These are the four rates. But here our income is not going up to 10 lakh, it is below 10 lakh. That's why first two slabs, third slab will be taken as balancing figure. <coughs> That's all. Next, second uh, bit is lucky student in a lucky dip price of rupees 1 lakh. Second key situation is if he receives 1 lakh rupees in lucky dip price. Remember, lucky dip price is a casual income on which there is a flat rate of tax of 30%. So we keep 4,50,000 separate and this 1 lakh rupees separate because 4,50,000 is normal income. Slab system will apply. Remaining 1 lakh rupees is the casual income separately taxable at 30%. Here. Lucky dip price 1 lakh. The price amount is casual income and it is taxed at a flat rate of 30%. So first we have to calculate what is the tax on normal income of 4,50,000. Income under other heads 4,50,000. So tax on normal income 4,50,000. First slab up to 2,50,000. Income 2,50,000. Rate nil. Tax nil. Second slab goes from uh, 2,50,000 to 5 lakh. The second slab goes from 2,50,000 to 5 lakh. But is our income going up to 5 lakh? No. Our income is only 4,50,000. So I am taking balance. Balance. So 4,50,000 minus first slab 2,50,000. Balance is 2 lakh. On this 2 lakh, 5%. The second slab rate is 5%. So 5% of 20 or 2 lakh is 10,000. So on 4,50,000 of income, the tax is 10,000. So tax on normal income, 10,000. Tax on casual income. How much is the lucky dip price, casual income, 1 lakh? Rate of tax, 30%. 30% 30 of 1 lakh, 30,000. Total tax, 40,000. Health and education says 4%. Then tax liability, 41,600. Two situations I have explained. The third situation is best single price of rupees 1 lakh income tax access. Best single price 1 lakh rupees. If the SSC is a professional singer, then that 1 lakh rupees will be included as income from profession. But if the SSC is not a professional singer but a casual singer, then that amount is taxable under income from other sources. So this best single price is taxable either under income from other sources or under income from profession. But both are normal income. If 1 lakh rupees is included under income from profession or if 1 lakh rupees is included income from other sources, both are normal income only. Right? It is added to other incomes 4,50,000. So 4,50,000 other heads income, this 1 lakh is uh, best single price income. Add up 5,50,000 is the total income, normal income. <clears throat> this income can be treated as income from profession or income from other sources. And it is taxed on slab basis. Professional singer, so income from professional. Casual singer, income from other sources. So total income 5,50,000. So the tax liability is 23,400 as computed in case 1. Here also in case 1 we have total income 5,50,000. So already we have computed on 5,50,000 how much is the tax liability? 23,400. 
तो हियर आल्सो विल गेट द सेम ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर हंड्रेड टोटल इनकम इज सेम तो टैक्स लाइबिलिटी विल आल्सो बी सेम लास्ट फोर्थ केस मेरिट स्कॉलरशिप रिसीव्ड वन लैख तो इनकम टैक्स एक्ट सेज इफ एन एस एस सी गॉट मेरिट स्कॉलरशिप इनकम Income tax tax. tax it is fully exempted from tax. No tax will be applied on इनकम टैक्स इट इज फुल्ली एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम टैक्स नो टैक्स विल बी अपलाइड ऑन वन लैख रुपीज स्कॉलरशिप रिसीव सो इट इज एन एक्सेप्टेड इनकम दैक्स इज अपलाइड ऑन अदर इनकम अदर हेड ऑफ फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ही फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ऑन दैट फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टैक्स इज कंप्यूटेड तो हाउ मच इज द इनकम ऑन फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड हियर ऑलरेडी वी है टेन थाउजेंड तो फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टैक्स इज टेन थाउजेंड Add health and education says four percent, ten thousand four hundred is a tax liability. This is the end of problem number eight. Four situations. Next, <clears throat> ninth one. As a member of a team, <clears throat> father and son participated in a quiz competition conducted by a TV channel and won rupees five crore prize. so a tv channel has run a competition quiz competition and father and son a team has participated and father and son jointly won a prize of 5 crore calculate tax liability if the prize money is shared equally if we assume that 5 crore rupees prize money is shared equally by father and son what is the tax liability that is a question right winning prize money is a casual income so 5 crore rupees is casual income this 5 crore will be divided equally between father and son so 5 crore divided by 2 2.5 crore or 2 crore 50 lakh so each father and son will get an income of 2 crore 50 lakh casual income it is taxable at a flat rate of 30% and surcharge will be added because the income is more than 2 crore 2 crore to 5 crore surcharge is 25 percent. Already I have explained in the theory video. Now, <clears throat> the father and son participated as member of the team. Hence, the prize money will be distributed equally 2.5 crore or 2 crore 50 lakh each. So 5 crore will be divided equally between father and son. 2 crore 50 lakh. This income is a casual income, and each one's income is taxed separately at a flat rate of 30 percent. On casual income, the rate of tax thirty percent. So thirty percent tax is applied on father, and thirty percent tax is applied on the son. Now, computation of tax liability. So tax thirty percent of two crore fifty lakh. Each one father and son getting two crore fifty lakh. So thirty percent of two crore fifty lakh, seventy five lakh. To this we add surcharge. Surcharge will be applied if the income is more than fifty lakh, but different rates of surcharge are specified. Already I have explained in the last video. If the income is up to fifty lakh, no surcharge. If the income is more than fifty lakh but up to one crore, ten percent is the surcharge. If the income is more than one crore up to two crore, fifty. 15% is the rate of surcharge if the income is more than 2 crore but up to 5 crore 25% is the surcharge if the income is more than 5 crore 37% is the rate of surcharge these are the four rates you have to remember 10% 15% 25% 37% now we have to see our income is 2 crore 50 lakh it is more than 2 crore but less than 5 crore so 25% is the rate of surcharge so 25% of 75 lakhs 18 lakhs 75000 add up 93 lakhs 75 to this we add health and education says 4% tax liability 97 lakh 50000 so this tax liability is same for both father and son So father has to pay ninety seven lakh fifty thousand. Son also has to pay ninety seven lakh fifty thousand as tax liability on their income. That's all. <clears throat> Ninth problem completed. Now see the tenth one. Calculate the tax liability in the following three situations and comment upon the same. If income from other head is nil and prize amount in lucky dip, 
प्राइज अमाउंट इन लक्की डिप इज ए कैजुअल इनकम ऑन विच फ्लैट रेट ऑफ टैक्स थर्टी परसेंट एंड सिचुएशन वन रुपीज हंड्रेड सिचुएशन टू रुपीज थ्री लैख एंड सिचुएशन थ्री रुपीज थ्री क्रोर थ्री डिफरेंट सिचुएशन आर यू वी टू कंप्यूट द टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इफ द डिप प्राइज इज हंड्रेड रुपीज ओनली वी टू कंप्यूट वॉट इज द टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इफ द डिप प्राइज इज थ्री लैख सेकेंड सिचुएशन वी टू कंप्यूट द टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इफ द डिप प्राइज इज थ्री क्रोर तो वी हेव टू कंप्यूट द टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इन ऑल द थ्री एंड देन वी हेव गिव यू कमेंट कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ टैक्स लाइबिलिटी कैजुअल इनकम टोटल इनकम ए वी हैव डिवाइडेड द केसेस इनटू ए बी सी ए केस वेयर द डिप प्राइस इज हंड्रेड रुपीस बी केस वेयर द डिप प्राइस मनी रिसीव्ड इज थ्री लैक एंड सी विनिंग फ्रॉम डिप प्राइस इज थ्री क्रोर दैट्स इट बेसिक एग्जेम्पन रिमेंबर द पॉइंट no basic exemption will be allowed from casual incomes nil no basic exemption will be allowed in any case now deduct will get taxable income so taxable income will be 100 3 lakh and 3 crore tax rate 30% so calculate 30% of 100 30 30% of 3 lakh 90000 30% of 3 crore 90 lakh this is a basic income tax to this we add surcharge but surcharge will be applied only in the third case where the dip price is 3 crore no surcharge if the dip price is 100 no surcharge if the dip price is 3 lakh no surcharge so put a dash here 25% of 90 lakh it comes to 22 lakh 50000 is the surcharge in the third case add up. So 90 lakh plus 22 lakh 50 thousand, one crore 12 lakh 50 thousand, 90 thousand 30 rupees. This is the total tax after surcharge. Now we have to add the health and education says 4 percent. So 4 percent of 30 rupees, one rupee 20 paisa, 1.2. 4 percent of 90 thousand, 3600. 4 percent of one crore 12 lakh 50 thousand, it comes to 4 lakh 50 thousand. Now you add. 30 plus 1.2 is 31.2, rounded off to 31 rupees. Here 90,000 plus 3,600, 93,600. 1 crore 12 lakh 50,000 plus 4 lakh 50,000, 1 crore 17 lakh. This is the tax liability under the three situation. Right now it is asking you to give the comment on this problem. The first comment is for casual incomes, basic exemptions are not allowed. First point to remember. No basic exemption for casual incomes. Second point is for casual income, no tax rebate will be allowed under Section 87A. Third case, even if the prize money is too small, then also tax liability will be applied at 30 percent. Here in the first situation, only 100 rupees, only 100 rupees he won the dip prize. So out of 100 rupees, 31 rupees he has to pay the tax. So even if the prize money is small, then also he have to pay the tax on casual income. So even if the prize amount is too small, income tax is levied at thirty percent. That's all. So three problems have explained in this video. That is eighth, ninth, and tenth. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem eleventh in the next video.